So Microsoft has a strong initiative to introduce PowerShell into many of their applications, whether it's Windows Management, Exchange, Active Directory, SQL. Microsoft says, we're not going to write configuration interfaces anymore. We're just going to write APIs and let everybody else do what we want for us. VMware, Citrix, all the hypervisor vendors are taking up this idea as well. We're even seeing it start to enter the storage space, NetApp, Compellent. Everybody wants to be PowerShell. So we're sitting here thinking, do people really have the time to learn another scripting language? Do they have the ability to really understand the level of detail that they need to to start getting to that point where they can automate their whole environment with a command line? In the Unix days, they've had 40 years of experience doing that. In the Windows space, we're just young kids. You know, we're impatient. We're in a different generation than, than the Unix guys. Um, being able to take all this information and how do I even get started? It's one of the things that we did is we built a graphical user interface around the around PowerShell. Yeah. So what we have here is uh, my virtual infrastructure in my house, uh, vmguru.com. Little test environment. I'm actually pulling all this information over network connection from vmguru to my home in Chicago. Uh, relatively small environment, but it's access to all of the information that that virtual center provides. I'm not doing any data retention. I'm not holding on to anything. It's all stored in virtual center. Don't want to store it twice. And what I'm really focusing on is different, many different angles here. It's trying to give access to all of the information that you need, how you need it, you know, and customize it the way that you need to for your customers, be able to wrap some consulting services around it, being able to have customer force for your management. Some tools out there just go say, give me everything about an environment. Here's your review. most common things that you know, I'd like to refer to because it's a very easy something that hits home with every virtualization administrator is, I just added a new data volume or two new data volumes to my cluster. How do I get the host to see that? Well, right now I need to go into every ESX server, I need to rescan that storage, I need to make sure it comes online, I have to go through that process. It's very tedious. It can take me up to an hour to two hours, depending on how big the cluster is, how many volumes I've added, where all this data is going. So what we've done is, again, because of the flexibility of PowerShell, is I can actually just go ahead and, if I want to drill down through a cluster, just show me the hosts in this cluster. Now I can actually say, highlight all of these hosts, now rescan for new storage. In one mouse click, in the amount of time that it would normally take you to click each, every single one of these, go down to the pub, grab a pint, come back and say, that was a hard day of work. You know, it makes it you know, just very easy to do these very complex tasks um, that would normally require one to two, in some cases, eight, 10, 12 hours of actual uh, effort to be able to do. Uh, because everything is based on the back end on PowerShell, one of the things that we often get asked is, you know, how do I learn, how do I start doing this stuff? So as I'm clicking through here, every single mouse click that I do is actually generating PowerShell code in the background. You don't need to know how to do the script. We're creating the script for you. I can copy and paste this, I can modify it, I can add my own little special spin on it, and now I can schedule this to run. I can execute this on a weekly basis to generate a custom report that I know exactly what's going into it. This is what my manager or my customer needs to see. It brings that information right to the forefront. So being able to have access to all information, how you want it is very flexible, very powerful. Uh, the ability to actually, you know, I have this host server, but my process is a little bit different. I have a very specific action that I have to do. One of the things that I want to say is, okay, I want to get a, get a list of all of my virtual machines where my virtual machine tools are out of date. I can actually write my own query for that, click on one button and say, here are all the virtual machines who are out of date. But now I want to select all of those and actually update them. So automatically identify this list of systems, remediate the problem, and you click your mouse button twice. Make it significantly easier to identify and resolve all of these you know, little things that normally take you a lot of mouse clicks, a lot of time to identify, and then figure out how to you know, go in and actually resolve all of these issues. Uh, even just, uh, you know, the big thing for me is access to the information and how you need to see that. Um, if you're in a consulting services organization where you're going out to customers, you have to do health checks, you have to identify the environment, sometimes it can take quite a bit of time just to get a good idea of the layout of this environment. Uh, so what we can do is, you know, as an example here, let's just take a look at my production environment. And what I want to do is actually just generate a uh, quick diagram that shows how my data stores are mapping to VMs. I want to see if I'm balanced. Do I need to storage vMotion some systems? So now I can actually integrate into standard tools like Visio. And once this fires up, it is a little bit slow right now because it is over the uh, WAN connection, but it's going to start drawing out my virtual infrastructure in real time. What I'm actually going to see when this report completes is up at the top I have one VMFS volume that has seven virtual machines. 
I have another VMFS volume that only has one virtual machine. So much more I owe going to this volume. I need to better balance that out. In real time, starts drawing it out as it identifies it, and puts it in place. What are my storage volumes? Which hosts have access to that? Which VMs are connected to that host? So now, once this diagram completes, here I have my seven virtual machines. Here I have one virtual machine. Maybe I should think about storage you know, Balance that out. Get better configuration. This is just a beta version of this uh, of the product that we're releasing in March. We're going to start to put in colorization. If my host is having performance problems, why not turn it red? It's Visio. We have the ability to change the colors and things. Show a network diagram and show links that may have more problems or bottlenecks. Instantly identify all of that information because it's just very simple to change a color property of a line object. Um, what we're doing is putting in graphic capabilities. Say, I just need to see these five metrics, which have nothing to do with one another. I just need to see it in one graph. How do CPU utilization, disk utilization, memory utilization, and you know, percent ready time, how do they relate? How can I correlate all of this data? Now you can actually say, just give me a graph, something that I can put into a report, give to my manager. He stays happy, but give me the raw data. Uh, developers always need to have access to do certain things in a virtual environment. Power on, power off. Pretty much that's about it. They need to see some of their performance so they can help accurately portray the information. But if you give them a the BI client, all of a sudden they want everything. They want snapshots. They want to they want a V motion just because they can. You give them a lockdown console that strips out all of that information. They don't even know that that exists. Obviously they can't bug you for that information. So the best part of this whole thing is the application that we're uh, going to be providing, 100 percent free of charge. No cost to anybody, you can use it, you can wrap services around it, you can create your own custom actions, take it to a customer site, have everything that you need for your specific health check reports, everything that you need for your internal enterprise reporting for your management, all the information at your fingertips that you can customize, take with you and use perfect administrative toolkit. You know, I've been doing virtualization for many, many years. My biggest challenge was going from customer to customer. I needed seven different utilities. The licensing on some of these utilities I had to pay for each time just because it made it that much easier for me. Well now, 100% free toolkit. I got frustrated. I decided one of these days I'm going to make my own toolkit and just give it away. And found the perfect capability to do that with uh, Vision Core and now be able to take this technology bundle it up, give uh, administrators a very powerful toolkit, not in the fact that it has a lot of functionality, but you still have the ability to extend it and create whatever you want around this. There's also a virtualization community that I've put together where you have experts, you have the uh, novices coming in, I have a problem, we know how to solve this, uh, I want to do find this script, I need to do this. Somebody's already written that script, let's just pull it offline, put it right in, instant access to extending your capabilities through the community, through your own uh, use of this product, through your own development. Very flexible, all about how you need to manage and look at a virtual environment for your core business. End of March, it'll be uh, publicly available. Uh, so we do have some community website information. Uh, on hindsight, I would have you know, actually highlighted the URL in the card so it's actually easy to see, but uh, the Vezi.org, uh, take this with you a little reminder.